This is my second video dealing with the Clean Power Alliance notices I got where they're saying that on February 1st I'm going to be transferred to the um, Clean Power Alliance and subject to their rates and my net metering residential agreement is going to be transferred to them also. Um, I've already done an analysis on my winter rates and it looks like uh, if you generate electricity um, like I do uh, in you know off peak or you know some I've do, been doing some on peak it's better to do the um, better to sell sell to Edison's at Edison's rate because uh, even though the off the super off peak is low um, you're not really gonna um, overcome the um, the detriment of being able to sell to Edison at high rates. So I think the most important part of this letter here is that is this section here. So um, this I've already covered the net surplus rates for Clean Power Alliance is 10% higher than Edison so potentially to some of you that'll be uh, beneficial however um, it looks like that the problem is that um, they're going to it true up in February your credits um, so that means if you have I've only had the solar for a little bit but uh, technically speaking I guess that means that they're going to take this credit here and if I don't have any uh, charges to apply that to they're probably going to cash me out now that's Edison is going to cash you out um, and I, I assume that's what's going to happen SCE will will um, will offset any of those charges if you owe money um, um, if 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 you owe money, then then um, you'll be billed by SCE. Um, so this is the case of the uh, credits exceeding, which is my case. And if you owe money, um, then you're gonna get billed by Edison at their rates. So that what's the problem with that? Um, I think the problem is you got people who are producing uh, not as much money or not as much electricity in the winter and then they're thinking they're going to turn on their air conditioning in the summer and offset charges and though that will not be a good timing event for them. Um, then you could also have situations that are reversed. Um, you know that that you're basically you know waiting for the summer to generate a bunch of electricity and offset your your um, your winter rates so timing might not be what you want it to be on that the second thing is that um, they're going to have a true up your true update is is going to be on the anniversary date that you switch over which is going to be in February um, however it looks like that they're going to true up all customers on an annual basis as of April 2020 um, and then here's some other language with with respect to you know being able to carry over some of your credits um, so less than a hundred dollars will roll over um, so um, I think that this could be a problem and it may be best for you um, just to opt, opt out um, now until you figure out um, what, what's going on. I have a few other things that I'd like to... So here's the opt out form. You can just... Um, I just I just filled out everything here um, and basically at the bottom of my my I used my customer number and just filled that out 
Um, the other thing is that, that you have to look out for, I think is, or we all have to look out for is solar people. Uh, it looks like Edison has got this sort of rate structure. They, they, they sort of, this is going to be the future time of use. Now we're, I'm on MEM 2.0, and so it is time of use based. But you know what they're pushing to do is basically have something that um, starts at four o'clock p.m and um, goes to eight o'clock and, and, and calls that on peak. So it's potentially um, you're not going to earn as much money in this time period because right now it's for me it's set to two o'clock um, and, um, and so on peak is I think starts at um, on peak I think starts at four okay so it's really gonna change so when you start changing uh, the power companies um, I'm wondering whether you could you you could you know violate this um, this the setting you have for time of use um, I'm wondering if you wouldn't be grandfathered I'm I'm guessing that we all are going to be grandfathered so we have to be careful about losing our grandfather status because we could um, be subject to these unfavorable um, more unfavorable rates that we may uh, see in in the future um, so it, to summary to summarize um, um, what are the risks if you don't opt out well um, you may lose uh, you know favorable sell sellback rates like I I've I've kind of found out myself I'm not sure if if the Edison rates that I, I use to compare against are the true rates but I I think I'll just wait and see um, you may not be able to opt out without fees oh there's one other thing I need to show you here um, so they basically saying if you decide that um, that it's not the right choice for you you have the right to opt out at any time um, and they won't charge you any fees uh, uh, and you'll not uh, let's see so so basically they basically qualify that if you decide it's not right for you and and you so you have the right to opt out at any time and then down here at the bottom they say opt out terms and conditions may vary depending on the actual <laughs> date you opt out so I think it's best you know you have you have a little bit of risks right you can lose your sellback rates um, you know the favorable sellback rates if you don't opt out um, you may not be able to opt out without fees later um, and um, we're not sure about how the time of use rates are going to get you know used it could get burned um, but if you do go ahead and and use them I think that they may have lower time of use rates at least one percent but I I actually saw that they 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 did way better anyway I hope this helps and good luck going forward with your energy provider